A vast virus database has been updated. Hi, this is what would Josh do? And man, I need a haircut. There, much better. This video should show you to install CyanogenMod 9 on the HTC Evo 3D. This is all thanks to the CyanogenMod team and Toast CFH. Mother Toast. Quick note before we get on to the installation of this ROM. Joel from the Titanium Backup Team has created a Google page that I'm going to link to in the description. Please, please, please click on it and star it. The more people that star it, the closer it'll get to the front page and the closer Google will see it and have to implement it if they listen to their users, that is. If you purchase an app from the Amazon App Store and then you go to the Google Play Store, it'll say there's an update available if there is. But if you click on it, it won't let you because you did not purchase it from the Google Play Store. You purchased it from the Amazon App Store. But we all know Amazon App Store takes weeks to update an app. So it's pretty much pointless unless that app is free to purchase it on the Amazon App Store. If it's free, then hey, you can't complain. You just wait six months for them to finally get around to updating it when there's a new update on the Play Store, which is the stupidest name in the freaking world. More about this is in the description. There's a YouTube link I put on my second channel. If you want to, you can check that out, but please click the first link that'll take you to the Google Android page. Now, let's get on to the video. This video is going to show you how to install Toast CFH's CM9 ROM for the HTC Evo 3D. Toast CFH is a CyanogenMod maintainer, so this is coming from the official source. Doesn't mean this is an alpha, beta, release client, or anything like that because it hasn't gotten that far. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install it. Right now I'm running Mean ROM 2.9 and I have an Anthrax kernel going at 1.7 GHz. If your ROM supports it, you can choose Restart and then you can go into Recovery. But I'm going to do something I don't normally do and just power it down. It's not off just yet. Now it's off. It takes a minute for it to fully shut down. If you have fast boot enabled or your ROM has trouble shutting down fully like mine just did, just pull the battery out, put it back in, and then hold volume down and power. All right. Now hopefully you don't have a PG86 zip on the root directory, otherwise it would only let you update and then you'd have to reboot whether you accepted it or not. I'm going to choose recovery and press power. Mm. Now we're going to go down to the third option, wipe factory reset, press power, and then yes. Now you're going to go to install zip from SD card, which is the fifth option. Choose zip from SD card and go down and find your CM9 shooter OTA English Toast CFH zip. You're going to want to make sure that you have the Google add-ons on your root directory or somewhere on your SD card that you can locate, otherwise you will not have the Google Play Store. This doesn't take that long because it's not as nearly as bloated as a Cinch ROM is. This is like 113 megabytes compared to like over 400. Alright, now we need to just go ahead and press power again and then choose the ICS Google add-ons right here G apps ICS and then press power and choose yes this does not take long at all because it's just a small zip I will have a link to these Google add-ons in the description plus I'll also have a mirror just in case you can't get it off of goo inside me now you want to choose go back and then reboot system now and give it a minute what you're seeing now is the standard ICS launcher. CyanogenMod 9 has chosen a default launcher they're going to use like they did for CM6 and CM7, but it's not included with this ROM yet. A lot of Nightlies use it, but the shooter isn't on Nightlies yet. That's not even in focus. There we go. This is the screen you should see. I'm going to go ahead and sign in real quick. All right, I've signed into my Google account, and now we're here at the Google Play Store. I'm going to do a full review of this ROM. You have awesome access to things like Google Chrome, which unfortunately Flash does not work. So I honestly don't even use that. I just use the stock ICS launcher, which is pretty awesome. You have the standard lock screen of ice cream sandwich where you choose whether you want to go to the camera or to unlock it. And you can choose camera, but like I said, it's a whole lot of green. But as time goes on, it will definitely get fixed and get better. I'm not sure 4G works or not. not sure. In the full review that I'll link in the description, and if you aren't subscribed, please do so or you'll miss the video. I'm going to review what all works, what doesn't, my thoughts on it, and stuff like that. Because you can actually change what buttons are showing up right there. Like, I always have my GPS on, so I take that button off of there and I add a 4G button. I like having a percentage.
Okay, see, I changed it, and if I long press on something, it takes me to that corresponding area. Wi-Fi, of course, does work. Holding Bluetooth takes you to Bluetooth. Holding the speaker button takes you to the sound settings. And oddly enough, when you hold down 4G, you get a system closure. Again, that's probably because there isn't an area in the settings to scan for 4G networks and connect to them. As in time, this will get better. I'll go over face unlock and a lot of the other ice cream sandwich features in a later video. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Should be up right about there. You'll get notified when I post new videos. If you don't mind, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. This is What Would Josh Do in a Mount.